Welcome to the Group 7 presentation. Today, we are talking about Colgate Palmolive, a company founded in 1806 that transitioned from a modest soup and candy business to a global consumer products giant. The pivotal merger with Palmolive Pete in 1928 expanded its product and global footprint, eventually simplifying its name to Colgate Palmolive in 1953. The company has established a robust presence in over 200 countries, offering a diversified product line that spans oral care, prisoner care, home care, and pet nutrition, renowned for its commitment to sustainability and corporate responsibility. Colgate Palmolive has navigated global market dynamics and consumer preferences through continuous innovation, adaptive strategies, and a focus on values like caring and global teamwork. Now, let's focus on the case overview. Since 1990s, it has running in Colgate Palmolive that foreigner experience is important for upward career movements. As a result, over the years, the company has been investing in developing an international assignment policy, aiming to nurture and retain skilled managers through global placements. Initially considered successful, the program faced challenges in the 1990s as managers became increasingly selective in accepting foreign assignments. In fact, the trend also coincides with the increasing appearance of dual career families. In response to such an evolving trend, the company introduced the Spons Assistance Program in 1992 aimed at improving professional opportunities for expatriate sponsors. While this innovative approach was seen as a step forward, concerns remained about its effectiveness, particularly in regions where sponsor employment was restricted. Colgate Palmolive grappled with the tension between its tradition emphasis on international assignments and the changing expectations of its managers, which posed a significant challenge for the company's global talent management strategy. In the following speech, this presentation will attempt to critically analyze the strong points and the weaknesses in CP's international assignment policies. Recommendations will also be provided to help the company mitigate the increasing decline of international assignments due to the upward trends of dual career families. Finally, reviews on what multinational corporations should consider when designing international career development will wrap up our presentation. Let's come to the first part of our presentation, the evaluation of Colgate Palmolive's international assignment policy. There are various strengths that can be spotted in CP's policy. Now, let's delve deeper into the first strength, comprehensiveness and sensitivity. It not only addresses personal and financial concerns, but also provides medical examinations, language courses, and orientation programs. Colgate Palmolive's international assignment policy demonstrates a thoughtful approach towards ensuring the well-being of its expatriate managers and their families, aiming to minimize the stresses and challenges associated with international relocations and assignments by addressing various aspects of personal and financial life that could be impacted by such moves. At the meantime, Colgate Palmolive also provides many survives that demonstrate a commitment to the health and safety of the employees and their families, as well as help in mitigating any potential health risks or challenges that might be encountered in the new location. 
Additionally, the fact that they provide language courses and orientation programs signifies their understanding of the pivotal role communication plays in adaptation and integration into a new culture and work environment, while also illustrating their acknowledgement of the culture shifts and potential adaptation challenges that might be experienced. Financial stability and parity is another strength of the policy. Colgate primarily astutely ensures the financial stability of its global management team by administering a uniform U.S.-based compensation and benefits package, irrespective of the geographical location of assignments. This adapt strategy sustains a consistent and equitable financial experience for its expatriate managers across diverse economic landscapes. Furthermore, the implementation of a good and survives alliance, a housing supplement, and a tax equalization program meticulously safeguards financial parity with their New York-based counterparts. These measures connectively underscore a comprehensive approach to maintaining the economic well-being and the satisfaction of employees amidst the varying financial climates encountered during international assignments. Career development opportunities is a final mainstream point. Colgate Palmolive's international assignment policy adaptively intertwines international exposure with career advanced, providing managers with a pathway that enhances their global expertise, while positioning them for senior management roles. Engaging in pivotal roles with informal subsidiaries not only amplifies their professional and leadership skills, but also crafts leaders capable of navigating diverse business environments. This strategy alignment of international assignments and career progression cultivates a leadership cadre with a balanced understanding of both domestic and global business operations. Fortifying Colgate Palmolive's management capabilities on a global scale. From my experience in the field, I can tell that our expatriate managers feel fairly treated, compensated, recognized, and promoted. The senior manager statement effectively confers this point. Now let's move to the weaknesses. The first weakness is high cost. Look at this page. We can see clearly that there are many factors related to the high cost. Colgate Palmolive's international assignment policy, while comprehensive, occurs substantial financial and administrative burdens, with the cost of deploying a manager overseas oscillating between 150% and 400% of the equivalent U.S.-based manager expense. The implementation of various financial parity mechanisms such as tax equalizations and goods and survives alliances for the accentuates the financial and administrative load, necessitating the intricate calculations and the management across diverse global locations. This substantial financial investment and administrative complexity, while ensuring the welfare and financial stability of expatriate managers highlights a significant cost implication that warrants continuous evaluation and optimization to safeguard organizational financial health and ensure sustainable execution of the policy. Spawn's employment also poses a challenge, especially when it plays a crucial part in managers' willingness to take the expatriate role. Specifically, the sponsors of expatriate employees face difficulties in maintaining career continuity during international assignments.
despite efforts of the company to assist in finding jobs in the new countries. Chilean sponsors may still encounter regulatory restrictions or limited career opportunities in host countries. Such challenges can introduce financial and emotional instability, affecting the overall expatriate experience. Worse, this may become a reason for the candidate to decline the assignment, which sets back CP's plan for their internationalization. Since dissatisfaction with the spawn's employment can deeper the policy overall positive prospection and effectiveness, it is high time for a policy evaluation gives the rising number of dual career families, which poses another challenge for management. Overall, addressing spawn's employment challenges is crucial for enhancing the success and acceptability of international assignments, potentially through remote work opportunities or strategic partnership in host countries. In the next part, I will talk with you about the solution for you or career family to effectively motivate managers in your career family to conduct one more lift and no change abroad while considering the possibility of a manager's both those nature. The following comprehensive solution can be implemented. So the first one is comprehensive uh, profile assessment. Do the uh, profile assessment not only for potential expatriate manager but also for their spouses. Identify their capability and attitude for them as ready for those repair and capable, reborn for those embracing trend, resentful for those unhappy about the assignment, and resigned for those who accept their situation with leader agonies for trend based on their ability to address new career expatriate challenge, including identity redevelopment, decision making, problem service ability, initiative and resilient. And the second is upper employment for post bosses. Emphasize the importance of offering employment opportunity within Congress primarily for post bosses provide they meet the necessary qualification and demonstrate a commitment to the company's global mission and values. And when post bosses working in the same company will gain many benefits. Uh, the first one is strengthen social relationship. By working together within the same organization, your career couple can enhance their relationship through shared personal goal, common experience, and mutual support, aligning with their essential approach or fostering unity and teamwork. Remote or family oriented image demonstrating a commitment to your career family within the company can rain for congas more image as a family oriented organization with richness with the ethnocentric approach, focus on core value and family support. And the or assistant on foreign assignment have been post process employed by the same company simplify the revision of comprehensive support during international assignment, including coordinated relocation relocation assistance, child care service, and share housing arrangements. This align with the ethnocentric abroad emphasis on unity and mutual assistance among employees. Moreover, collaboration with partner company is also another choice. A couple collaborate with partner company or subsidiary operating in the hard country to facilitate job opportunities for employees bullshit who post the required knowledge and experience. This collaborative effort demonstrates a shared responsibility and support for your career family.
And the final solution of ethnocentric approach is continuous support and flexibility, maintain open communication channel with employees and their spouses to provide continuous support and address any challenge they may encounter, a flexibility in work arrangement such as remote work option to act from their family needs and maintain productivity. By implementing these measures, Congress Bonnulet can effectively motivate managers in your career family, aligning with the ethnocentric approach while nurturing a supportive environment that values family, remote unity, and enhance the company's ability to thrive in global context. On the other hand, transitioning from an ethnocentric approach to a geocentric approach at Congas Bonnelief, where ability to take residents of our nationality involve receiving the company global mindset and rustic. Here are five specific solutions for this transformation. The first one is Global Talent Assessment and Development Program Implement Comprehensive Talent Assessment Program that identify high potential employees based on their skills, uh, competency, and global mindsets, rather than their nationality. Develop talent development plans that include cross-cultural training, leadership program, and international rotation by focusing on ability. Congress Bermolev can ensure that the most qualified individuals are considered for k role, irrespective of their background. And the second is inclusive recruitment directive. Modify recruitment process to emphasize the importance of candidate qualification, experience, and alignment with the company value and global objective. Conduct like interview of youth structure assessment to minimize bias and ensure that the selection process prioritize meritocracy and the ability to accept in their global teams. Moreover, we are the same development program that emphasize cross cultural competency, intercultural communication, and adaptability offer opportunity for employees to gain international experience either through assignment or virtual collaboration enabling them to develop a global perspective and a deep understanding of diverse markets about diversity and inclusion initiative a staff with diversity and inclusion initiative that foster an environment where all employees feel valued and empowered to contribute their best regardless of their background, develop affinity group, diversity culture, and mentorship program that promote diversity of thoughts and celebrate difference. And the last but not least, uh, global performance evaluation and rewards. Revise performance evaluation system to incorporate global competency and outcome rather than focusing solely on global achievement. Ensure that compensation structure are equitable and align with the value and impact employees bring to the company on global scale. By implementing this specific solution, Congress formula can successfully transition to a geocentric approach where talent and ability are prioritized, creating a more diverse, inclusive, and competitive organization in the global marketplace. For the next part of our presentations, we'll be talking about some considerations for MNCs when developing policy regarding international career development. 
So, given the firm's nature of making profits, it is their ultimate goal to minimize the possibility of expatriate failures, which is usually spotted through premature return or underperformance of the expatriates. Before diving into how policies regarding international career development should be created, let us review some of the reasons that lead to possible failures, which set certain criteria for a successful policy. The first reason is family-related issues, or particularly in this case, spouse or partner dissatisfactions. The problem has been a concern since the 90s, where traveling spouses find it difficult to adopt a new life in another country, including getting accustomed to the lifestyle, language, cultures, and in some cases, finding new jobs. As the trend of dual working families emerge, the need to fulfill spouses' employment satisfactions in the assigned countries become more urgent and critical. Failing to satisfy the needs of the spouse in general would increase the possibility of expatriates declining the assignments or worse, failures of expatriation. Secondly, when individuals are chosen without considering factors such as cultural fit, language proficiencies, and technical skills, they may struggle to adapt and perform effectively in the host country. This can lead to misunderstandings, frustrations, and especially cultural shock, resulting in below expectation jobs performance, inadequate preparations and support further magnifying the problems, leaving expatriates ill-equipped to handle the challenge of living and working abroad. Consequently, poor selection can result in premature returns, negatively impact the success of international assignments and the organization's global operations. Finally, financial issues can also contribute to expatriate failures. When organizations fail to provide competitive compensation packages, appropriate cost of living adjustments or assistance with financial matters such as taxes and housing, expatriates may experience financial stress and dissatisfaction. They can lead to destruction from their job responsibilities and even premature terminations of their assignments. Overall, the first issues has been confirmed by multiple studies as the leading factors that lead to international assignments failures, and the other reasons can be seen as the lack of support from the company. In order for international career development policies to be successful, they need to be designed in a way that satisfies spouse needs and provide assignment takers with adequate skills to operate effectively in the foreign cultures. Specifically, the four most things to consider when developing an international assignment policy is how to select the right persons. For this matter, performance appraisal system that consider international experience and achievement of employees should be implemented. Employers should set a clear performance expectations and goals for expatriates, taking into account cultural nuances and local market conditions. These informations will assist decision makers in choosing the most suitable candidate for the missions. Next, to avoid family-related issues, MNCs should see offering family support as their top priority. Prior to departure, assistance programs such as spouse employment support, cultural orientations, and access to social networks should be provided to mitigate any potential disruptions in the manager and their spouse's daily life. Additionally, the company should implement safety and security measures to protect employees and their families in foreign locations, especially crisis management and evacuation plans for emergency situations, such as pandemic, wars, and other kinds of disaster. Besides supporting efforts surrounding the family, compensation and benefits should also be provided. These include a global compensation strategies that accounts for cost of living differences, tax implications and currency fluctuations, and competitive benefits packages, including healthcare, housing, and educational support for expatriate employees and their family. As for the expatriates themselves, the company needs to provide cultural trainings and cross-cultural educations prior to the international assignments. Firstly, language barriers should be adequately addressed as it can impact job performance and adjustment. Secondly, the employees and their families also need to get used to the culture that they will be living in, including social manners, verbals and nonverbal communications, and so on. Finally, the managers themselves also need to be prepared with appropriate skills so they can monitor a global human resource. 
During the assignment, it is important that expatriates, the HR teams, and management have a clear line of communications where messages are effectively conveyed to address challenges and update the policies as needed. The policy should also consider retentions to completions, that is, a potential career progression required for the reintegrations of employees returning from international assignments. They also need to identify how the skills and experiences gained during the assignments be leveraged for the benefit of the organizations. In conclusion, Colgate Palmolive's international assignment policies exhibit strengths in comprehensiveness, financial stability, and career development opportunities for its expatriate managers. However, it also faces challenges related to high cost, limited flexibilities, and spousal employment issues which especially concerning dual career families. To enhance the policy's effectiveness, we recommend comprehensive assessment, employment opportunities for both spouses, and a family-oriented approach. Furthermore, transitioning towards a geocentric approach, prioritizing abilities over nationality, can attract and retain the best talent. When designing international career development policies, MNC should consider factors like employee selections, family support, language and cultural trainings, and ongoing communications to minimize expatriate failures and strengthen their global competitiveness. Generally, Colgate's Palmolive's journeys underscore the importance of adapting policies to evolving global workforce dynamic. That is everything for our presentation. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.